show you how the project can reach a wide audience and allow people to discover and tell their own stories about the trees around them. Okay, so what is Truezilla and why have we started this project? Truezilla is a monster map of Britain's trees. It aims to provide a record for every tree in Britain, along with a monetary estimate for the value of the tree's ecosystem services. Many people have an affection or an affinity for trees, but perhaps do not appreciate why they are important in, the, in having them in the environment. Um, but as the project grows, it will also provide a platform for public engagement uh, and education, as well as a basis for research projects and scientific investigations. So why are we doing this project? Well, there are 3.8 billion trees in, in forests and woodlands in the UK, but there's currently no overall estimate for the number of urban trees in the UK. So we're hoping that trees will fill this, this niche. So how does it work? Treezilla uses Open Tree Map software, which is a US-based software which has been adapted to suit the UK climate. Open Tree Map uses USDA Forest Service software to calculate ecosystem services, and this software is called iTree. So ecosystem services are, is a term that I'm sure many of you are already familiar with, uh, but very basically it describes what nature does for us. The ecosystem services measured on Truezilla include the amelioration of carbon dioxide and pollutant levels, rainfall regulation, and the, and the energy benefits uh, provided by trees. So things like temperature regulation, um, shading that trees provide buildings in summer, uh, and wind chill reduction in winter. There are already a number of successful open tree map projects in the US but Treezilla is the first in the UK. The most important factors uh, when inputting a tree into Treezilla uh, are the tree species and a measure of the diameter of breast height, which can be obtained by measuring the circumference of the tree approximately 1.3 meters from the ground. <coughs> so who is it for? Well, it's for everyone. It's designed to be easy to use and it's free to use. We have over 300 registered users, uh, which have registered since the launch event we held in June this year, and some of our users are extremely active. Anyone wants to register on the site can add individual trees, but there's also a function to do a bulk upload so that we can add many thousands of trees at one time. <laughs> We've also developed a, a simple visual tree guide which can be accessed through the uh, FAQ page on the website and this has been developed as part of making trees that are open to everyone. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress at the moment, uh, so do look out for developments here. So how can people get involved? Well, they can get involved uh, by using the website or by using the apps. Uh, we have apps ava available for iOS and Android platforms. And there are also a number of activities on the Open Science Laboratory website, which is a project of the Open University um, and it is an online platform for practical science applications. So to use the Treezilla app, it's very simple. Uh, first of all, you just need to search for your location. Uh, quite often, mobile devices will have GPS built in, so it will do that for you if you're using it on a, an iPhone, for example. Uh, you then drag the tree marker to the correct location and enter as much information as you can about the tree. And as I previously mentioned, uh, the key information to be entered here is uh, species and diameter of breast height. Anything that's entered onto the app is also viewable on the website and vice versa. So what is next for Treezilla? Uh, well, growth is the short answer. Um, we're also looking to refine the ecosystem services calculations so that they're better suited for UK environments. And we're looking to develop stronger community links so that our users can share ideas and help each other on the site. We have thousands of trees mapped to date and 150,000 more to be added shortly. And um, we're always looking for more individual trees to be added and tree infantry data which we can add to the site as well. Thank you very much.